A Ukrainian missile attack has destroyed a Russian minesweeper in occupied Crimea, Ukraine's military has said. Another bad day for the Russian Black Sea Fleet, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry said on X alongside a photo of the Kovrovets inside a targeting site. Russia's defense ministry denied that its minesweeper had been destroyed in the attack and said that its air defense systems had shot down all of Ukraine's missiles. A Kovrovets minesweeper is a special purpose vessel tasked with searching for, detecting, and destroying naval mines and guiding ships through minefields. The destroyed ship had been modified and differed from its Soviet predecessors in having more advanced mine detection and destruction equipment and a lower acoustic field. It was 61 meters long and had a crew of almost 70 sailors. The Project 266M Aquamarine M minesweepers are designed to locate and neutralize sea mines and to escort other vessels through mined areas. Kovrovets, launched in 1974, follows in the footsteps of a similar minesweeper, Ivan Golubets, which suffered damage from a Ukrainian strike in Sevastopol Bay just last October. But there is information that, small rocket launcher ship Cyclon has been destroyed, not Kovrovets. As a result of the strike, six servicemen of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation were killed, and another 11 people were injured. The ship itself sank. The Crimean Wind Telegram Channel reported that during the night attack on May 19, a building near Chicken Pier was severely damaged. According to Telegram Channel, the day before there was a small rocket launcher ship Cyclon. The very next day the ship was not there. It is noted that rocket launcher ship Cyclon has been destroyed. According to data from open sources, the Cyclon Corvette was launched back in 2020. He was accepted into the Black Sea Fleet already during a full-scale war against Ukraine. Details from the Ukrainian command remain scarce, and the Russian Ministry of Defense has yet to comment. Earlier, Russian military sources shared that Kiev launched an attack on Crimea using Atakms missiles, all of which were reportedly intercepted. сложился поезд просто там он что-то горит офигеть просто столбы все рухнуло вагоны повалились Это вообще... Что теперь? Estonian intelligence revealed reasons for Russia's offensive in Kharkiv region. The activity of the Russian armed forces in the Kharkiv region indicates the creation of a buffer zone rather than the intention to capture Kharkiv, according to the Estonian Defense Forces Intelligence Center, Ants Kiviselg. According to him, the Russian forces are advancing in the recently opened Kharkiv direction, but their pace is slowing down. This and the nature of the actions of the Russian armed forces rather indicate a desire to create a buffer zone, Kiviselg said. He also noted that Russian troops have attacked and destroyed important bridges in the vicinity of Vovchansk, which creates a natural barrier between Ukrainian troops and the Russian army. The Estonian intelligence chief clarified that Russia's actions in the region indicate its intention to build a defense line, not to create a foothold for advancing on Kharkiv. According to Kiviselg, Russian armed forces units have penetrated up to eight kilometers deep, a zone within reach of Russian artillery. The military emphasized that this is the reason why Ukraine could not build a defense system closer than 10 to 20 kilometers from the border and build strong fortifications within three to five kilometers from it. 
Kiviselg said that the North grouping of troops is operating in the Kharkiv direction with the aim of hindering the advance of Ukrainian reserve forces and supporting its offensive in the Donetsk direction. About 2,000 people are involved in direct combat in the Kharkiv direction. Another 1,500 to 2,000 fighters are in reserve. In total, about 35,000 servicemen of the Russian armed forces are concentrated in the area and the grouping is likely to increase in the near future, he said. At the same time, the Estonian intelligence chief does not think that Russia will be able to concentrate 300,000 people in this direction, which, according to various estimates, is the minimum required number of troops to capture Kharkiv. The Russian forces have recently launched an offensive in the north of the Kharkiv region and managed to capture several settlements. However, Ukrainian troops are holding back the advance. Today, Vladimir Putin spoke about the Russian offensive in the Kharkiv region. He explained that Moscow wanted to create a sanitary zone 